Welcome back. Uh, this time we're checking out the best memes. Okay. <laughs> Apparently. According to the internet. Wow, very nice. When you have only one item in line at the grocery store and the person in front of you uh, lets you go ahead of them. That was very cash money of you. That's not exactly a phrase I use. And also, I would be more likely to not let that person uh, ahead. But, like, one item is a pretty specific. <laughs> Thing is, I value my own time, I guess. But, you know, if I'm just about putting shit on the line, then, okay, you can go ahead. But if I'm if I'm staying on the fucking line, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking standing there for, like, two minutes, three minutes, whatever, and you're like, oh my god, my thingy is more important and uh, takes less time than yours. Can I go ahead? No, fuck off. And in some cases, some cheeky bastards actually tried to go ahead of me. I even let one of them because it would be just a fucking scene. It's so so embarrassing that, that you just like go ahead one person and who's waiting for there for five minutes and you just show up and like, oh, you have more stuff than me. I guess I, 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 I'll, go, I'll, I'll go ahead, right? No, fuck off. I know this is not exactly in the spirit of this meme, but God damn it. Be considerate. But yeah, this is nice, I guess. Food definitely helps a little. <laughs> How are you doing mentally? A little better. I ate lunch. <laughs> Actually, this is a pretty uh, good advice, uh, low key, because food relaxes. So if you wanna stay, uh, if you wanna start the day relaxed, you should eat. I'm not suggesting a lot, but at least a little, you know. And uh, that's why it's better to have, uh, in, as far as I know, it's better to have like breakfast and lunch if you're gonna have two meals than to have like, I don't know, like a big dinner. Like some people do that. Uh, not me though. <laughs> but your mental state shouldn't be reliant on uh, just having lunch. We can save it. It's not my garbage, but it's my planet. Yeah, that's nice. If only more people had that mentality that, you know, like, oh, you know, let's just put aside the petty shit that people are just so overly concerned with. I like, you know, just look at it like we are living on a, a tiny planet, humanity. Humanity is no, nowhere else, just on this planet. And we can't even fucking get together enough to, you know, maybe not make ourselves extinct. <laughs> well, I know this is uh, not uh, super tied to that, but still. It does concern me that humanity just doesn't really have the capacity or the the willingness to uh, group up for these uh, causes. That's not the right word, but I'm just going with it. Whatever. <laughs> Be unique. It's about who you're inside. Yeah. Okay, I get it, but you still still spend so much money. No, not a lot of money, though. <laughs> Just still fancy insights. This was not a thing at all, you know, like um, 15 years ago, at least. No one gave a two fucks about it, or maybe very few people. It was just like, hey, like this, I have this box, does things for me. That's good. It doesn't have to look like, yeah, it has to look like that. And no no uh, lights on. This is a perfect box for that, you know. No lights on the inside because you don't see it. But now it got to be like fucking sparkly. And I don't care one bit. Because I don't look at the box. If anything, I would say that's a, 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 a problem. Because now you're going to have problem with, like, if you have your computer on, then it just illuminates everything. And uh, that, that's a problem if you if you have the computer on and it just illuminates the whole fucking room. And like, someone's trying to sleep or you're trying to fucking sleep while you have your computer on. And it's a fucking bullshit, you know? This, this, this kind of, no, well, you can, you can easily fix it with the, with the monitors and like, you can turn off the lights as well. But like, obviously, like, like what, what's the... At that point, might as well just not have the fucking lights, right? 
<laughs> I'm just gonna, yeah, critique the lights, that's for sure. I actually have a PC that uh, uses a kind of uh, older box. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a good box. It's a very simplistic box that just fits everything and it just has decent circulation and it, you don't need to need, buy a new box for that. But I suppose usually the idea is that, you know, you, you, you have the old box for the old piece and you just don't want to gut it and you might just give it away or, or maybe sell it if you want to bother with that. Taking care of friends. Do you need more water? He's a cactus. I don't think he needs much water. Hmm, even if he doesn't need much, we should still ask our low-maintenance friends if they are okay. That's very true. Yeah. <laughs> but still, if going with the cactus example, the cactus not only doesn't need much water, but also uh, gets killed, the brutes rot, something like that, when... Uh, you pour too much water on it, which is pretty common when you're not living in an area that, you know, that you deal with cactuses, you know, like most people who just like get get a cactus like, oh, I got a cactus, like, well, there you go, H half a half a cup worth of uh, water on, uh, on it and like, grow big cactus and like, what the fuck, why is my cactus dead? <laughs> Still, it's, I guess it's a wholesome uh, thing, but God damn it. Watch out. When a random stranger asked me to watch their stuff for them. I'll do it. But also, they don't know if you're trustworthy. <laughs> you can't trust random guys. Random... I shouldn't say guys. Uh, random people uh, to uh, guard your shit. At times, some at times people uh, volunteered themselves. They 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 saw me like I don't know, put down my bag, and uh, like move away, and they're like, "Oh, I'm gonna guard your bag while you're away." And hmm, that's nice because you know you you're watching out for me, even though I was maybe a little bit scatterbrained. But that's not really uh, uh, usual for me that I would leave my stuff. I kind of take it with me. But, I don't know, like, I got a really big bag and I just can't carry it and, like, just put it down and, like, you know, I try to be mobile and, you know, and someone is like, I got my eye on your bag. Okay. It's like, I got you, mate. It's like, thanks. I didn't ask, but that's nice. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. Three easy steps. How to win an introvert's heart. Buy them food. It's such a stupid stupid uh idea but it works it works because when people give you food you're just like oh these people are care about me it, it works with animals too it's like oh they're giving me food they care about me a lot oh, i'm kind of falling for them now why does it work so well i don't know <laughs> but it kind of works on me too tell them they're beautiful god damn it flattery and food and leave you bastard What, is that that's supposed to be cute? Is that supposed to make the introvert chase? Or what is this shit? There's supposed to be a feel-good Reddit. Then you leave. I'm supposed to chase you now? I left, I'm left with questions here. I was, I, was, I was waiting for the finishing move, but leaving is clearly not it. Um, whenever I'm sad, this always picks me up. I can smash anything! Buildings! Oh. Oh, okay. Mountains! Can you smash my sadness? Poop. <laughs> What's a good thing he didn't smash puss? My love for you is like a Windows update. A Windows update? Yes. It goes on forever. God damn it. That's true! And also, like, do not shut down your PC. When you have to. Ah, oh, Windows. It's kind of getting better and worse at the same time. Why do you have to do this? <laughs> the good lines. I usually don't uh, check out political ones, but this, this one is uh, not relevant to that. It's okay to cry, bros. Everyone can cry. 
And it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. But you don't really... Fine. But it's best not to cry. I kind of assume that it kind of says like that every man cries, but it's not. <laughs> this this form actually has a lot of feels on it. I don't know why. <laughs> I like more edgy jokes. A friend is a friend. You come across a dire rat. I try to befriend it and keep it as a pet. A wolf stands in your path. I try to befriend it and keep it as a pet. Before you stands the demon lord Baphomet, prince of beasts. And that gets befriended as well. <laughs> Let's rip this apart with logic. So you befriend the rat. The rat is pretty stupid, but let's just say you do that. That's fine. You befriend a wolf. Now, here's my main problem. Even if I completely skip the part that you somehow managed to befriend a wolf that uh, lived its entire life in the wilderness, I think it's easier to befriend a rat. But if you're just so. If you're just a happy go lucky animal lover, you gotta keep in mind that the wolf is a, uh, is a carnivore. So. It's not gonna work out as well. And then you go to the be demon. What are you gonna feed to the fucking demon? <laughs> I don't know, man. This seems troublesome. I know. Just, just make friends. And it's gonna work out just fine. <laughs> and this forum is just full of this. Just like, oh my god, my feels, my feels, and like, oh, others will make you feel better, or everything is so gonna be fine. It's like, okay. It's, it's, this, this forum definitely has a team. Gotta love moms. One day, you'll set your kid down for the last time. We'll see about that. <laughs> Come on, son. We're going shopping. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> now, that's a good joke. Okay. <laughs> I mean, what who works, man? Just to work out. You, you need to work out. Like, lifting a man is not that hard. Even as a woman, I, I guess. Like, you should be able to do that. Like, like if you do it correctly. I mean, it should be doable. Very, very doable. There are female firefighters out there who, who can easily do the job. So, uh, you have no excuse. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, you understand. When someone remembers a little detail about me that I don't even remember telling them. Oh, you, un you understand. Or more likely, they are stalking you. <laughs> they remember the detail about me that I haven't told them. I don't know, ma'am. <laughs> Seems a bit dodgy to me. Be like Bill, and be positive about all platforms. This is Bill. Bill is a gamer. Bill doesn't spend his day arguing on which is the best gaming platform. There's no argument to be had. PC is obviously the best platform by far. Others suck big time. <laughs> it's okay if you use them, but just, you know. But they are an addition to PC. Like, if you have to choose one, it's, it's a clear choice. Bill just enjoys playing games, cause that's what gamers do. Bill is smart. Be like Bill. Wow, so manipulative. <laughs> of course, there's not much point in uh, in arguing about it. God damn it! This forum is—I'm calling it forum subreddit. It's just full of sappy, feel-good uh, crap about emotional health, which I value, but. It's, it promotes emotional health that others have to control for you. Like, you know, I can control my own emotions and I rely on others to fix that for me. That's a terrible idea. Uh, you want to control your own emotions. So, And once you have that, it, you don't really rely on others. You know, others are still a plus, but then I cannot like, oh my god, I'm feeling bad. I need help from someone else. No, you're fine. I know it seems a little weird and maybe a little heartless, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's not that hard. 
It just it's just not a very common skill, but it's a rather easy one. Anyway, Bill. Bill is a puss for not calling out the console scrubs like how they deserve. Bill is smart. Well, maybe Bill is smart. But Bill, I'm smarter than you, okay? <laughs> Positive about all platforms. What the fuck is this? I guess they, they, they want to discourage uh, uh, fighting about the platforms. <laughs> I don't know. This is just weird. It's weird. Anyway, guys, uh, that's it for now. And uh, see you next time.